हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एज यू ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ कॉम्बिनेटोरिक्स दैट वॉट इज कॉम्बिनेटोरिक इज और वी कैन से वॉट इज काउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल सो देर आर थ्री टेक्निक्स विच आर यूज इन कॉम्बिनेटोरिक्स और इन काउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल और वी कैन से दे आर थ्री काउंटिंग टेक्निक्स वन इज पॉमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड पिजन होल प्रिंसिपल so in this lecture we are going to discuss the first counting principle that is permutation so uh, we take uh, two or three example that how we solve the permutation problem so first of all discuss that what is a permutation is uh, it's a different arrangement of a group of items where some order matters then at that time we use permutation so the only thing that we have to remind uh, mind is that uh, where where we make some arrangement or where we make a group of items in which some order matters then at that time we use permutation okay so to calculate the permutation the formula is p n r n is the total number of items r is that we have to choose some items from r Uh, from n number of items so the p n r equals to n factorial upon n minus r factorial okay suppose we have example that there are five members which are participated in a race so how many ways the member get a first position second and the third position not 30 it is a third position so in this example you can uh, see that that the, the total number of members are five and there are three positions okay out of which five members what are the ways that the members get the first position so the number of ways for these five members to get the five fifth uh, first position this is first second and third so get the first position uh, among the five members so there are five choices so five then for the second position if one of the five member get the first position then four members will be remain and they will get the second way. Uh, so there are four ways to get the uh, second position in the similar manner for the third position only three members are left to get the third position so if we multiply 5 into 4 into 3 then we get 60 ways okay we can solve this question with the help of exam with the help of this formula also how so see the total number of members are 5 the positions are 1 2 and 3 so r is 3 here so in which the order matter means first come first then second position then third position then it means that we are going to apply permutation formula that is pnr equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial so it means 5 factorial upon 5 minus 3 factorial it comes out to be 5 factorial upon 2 then 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial upon 2 factorial then 5 into 4 into 3 equals to 60 ways so there are 60 ways that the uh, members among the five members they will get the first position second and third position so you can uh, apply the uh, formula also or you can directly solve like this okay so now we take some more example of permutation problem that how we use uh, or how we apply the permutation so the first question is that we determine the number of bit string of length 10 means we have a bit string of length 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have a bit string of length 10 now the condition is given that the either this 10 bit string it either begins with three ones or second condition is that it ends with two ones so how many number of bit string are there with these two condition so the first condition says that the bit 10 that the length of 10 bit string it begins with 3 0 means 1 2 and 3 means the number of bit string of length 10 that begins with 3 0 are means 
the first three position will be already allocated the remaining 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 remaining seven position will be left so there are for this condition there are 2 to the power 7 ways to allocate or to allocate the 1 or 0 for the remaining 7 position. Okay. So for the first condition we will get 2 to the power 7. Then for the second condition if the length bit string is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then it ends with 2 ones. Means the remaining the last 2 position of bit string is 1. So there are remaining 2 to the power 8 ways to fill all these 8 position. So the total number of ways or we can say the required number of string required number of strings are are 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 8 it comes out to be 128 plus 256 which is equals to 384 ways. This is the answer. Okay. Now we take another example that find how many symbols can be formed if two symbols are letters. As we already know there are 26 letters. So out of 26 the symbol is formed with the two symbols and next three are digits. Okay. Means the digits are 0 to 9. So there are 10 total 10 digits and there are to total 26 symbols. But there is one condition is given that no symbol is repeated. So as we know that the first two symbols first two symbols can be chosen from 26 alphabet. So we can choose 26 P2. Okay. In the similar manner, the next three are digits. So there are total 10 digits. So from out of 10, we have to choose 3. So it comes out to be 10 P3. So by the product rule, by the product rule, the number of symbols, the number of symbols that can be formed formed is 26 P2 product with 10 P3. Then after getting after solving this we get 4, 6, 8, 3 times 0. So this is the answer. Okay. So this is how we take uh, the permutation problem or uh, permutation formula. Okay, so if you have any doubt with this uh, regarding this uh, topic, then you can ask in our comment section and uh, keep watching our video. Thank you so much.